Most of the work is up at the head, but but down a layer of thread. Now I'm using a chartreuse, a uh, uni eight o. You could you could easily use a, a six o. For the tail, this is Lady Amherst, just a natural. Uh, it's from the crest, or sorry, the the collar. Now you only need a few fibres. Just tie it on the top. You could use tippet, which I've used before. That it's actually maybe last a wee bit longer than the Lady Amherst. Now, once you've secured in that, you don't have to be too fussy with the body because it's going to be a dub body. Now, I'm going to be using this, what they call it's a honey olive. It's a nice light olive colour that works extremely well. Now, just dub it onto your thread the best way you can. Slide it up to the hook, then like looking to form like a teardrop shape. And you could, as I say, you could use any much any materials for the body wool. Dries really quick. I'm just putting a wee drop more on just to build up the top end here. There's no ribbon this fly, just just a dub body. Now what you want to leave about a good five to six mil from the eye for the muddler head. Now for the under wing, I'm using some Pearl Crystal Flash. Now I've got four strands here, now it's, I want it slightly less. Or if you're going to put it on, put it at the tips here, the cut ends to the back of the hook is there. So it's an under wing, you don't want it longer than the wing, you just want it underneath it. Now what I do is tie it down and fold it back. Then remove the excess. You lower it slightly just by bringing it forward. Basically just creasing it and pulling it back. Now, the, the wing itself, is this is a calf body here. You could use calf tail, but the body here is the best. Or even you could use a, a synthetic fibre if you want. Something like, um, say, parapost or something like that. Just going to line up the tips. You could stack this, but I'm not going to bother. Get the length, the length of the, the wing to the right at the back of the tail. Just tie it down, keeping it on top. It's important that you keep it on top. Then come in, trim away the excess. And before you do anything, tidy up. All the way down. And come back up. Now for the, the deer hair head and for a part of the wing, I'm going to be using uh, this here's from Wopsy. And it's deer hair, it's a deer body here, it's called White Tail Light. It's actually quite a nice piece. Very much. It's like elk hair more like anything else. Now yeah, I'm taking away the fluff. Take off like, just imagine you're doing an elk hair caddis and you're looking for a wing. I'm tying it on. I'm just going to put it into the hair stacker before I tie it on. Just tap it and line up the points. That's all lined up. Now you don't want this too long. I would say anything from about halfway, not much less, but halfway anyway. And that's your part of your wing. Now I'm going to trim some of this away, it's just too long. Now it's important that you keep this on top, a good two or three turns. Now to make it last a wee bit longer, what you, what you do is pull back some of these fibres and turn the, th the thread turns in. This really locks it in really tight. You don't go down too far, it's just you can tidy up this way. You want your fly to last longer, especially you don't want it to roll round the hook. As you see it kind of flattens the wing a wee bit, but don't worry about that sorts itself out. Now it's got rubber legs. Now I'm going to use some black rubber legs. You could use whatever, whatever you've got. And to either side. It's easy enough, you can just pull it up and tighten. 
couple of turns with that one. And then get another one. Put them on the best way you can. You look and these are a couple of inches long. It gives you plenty to cut to suit the way you want it. Now you get it right up close to the deer here. Leave the two at the front. Because what I want to do is separate these with some deer here. I'm going to use the same deer here. You could use a different type, but this this is okay. But what you've got to do is again remove the fluff. See the fine fluff? Just remove this. There's different ways of doing it, and then you could use a comb. Now the best part for forming a head is, is down the bottom, these fibres, not the tips. So I'm going to tr trim these away, the tips. Because you don't need them. Now I'm going to put this on the top, holding back two, the back two of the rubber legs, keeping the two at the front. Just come around with a couple of turns like this. Then allow it to run all the way around. Then two or three turns. Now what you want to do now is really pack it, pack it back, just pull these back and then come in front, so watch your legs just now. This separates the legs and allows them to work better. Just bring your thread in front, nice and tight. Then get some more of your deer here. Again you want the bottom parts of the fibres, you want the, the airy part, especially for the muddle ahead. And again, just come in. All I do here at this time, you could roll it around, but the easiest way to do it is just really just put the hook through the centre of the the fibres, come in with two or three turns like this, and then tighten up. And then what I like to do is just bring the thread through towards the eye. Now, once you've done that, you can pack it again. It's important that you do this. Pack it nice and tight. Now I can get some more in there. It only the wee drop. Do exactly the same again. Just push it in like this. Hold it. Go in, do it, and pull. Don't need a lot of turns for to hold as long as it's strong and tight turns a deer uh, a thread to hold the deer here. Pack it nice and tight. Once you're happy, quite funny. Come in. Trim away, trim your thread. Now for the underside, see where your rubber legs are sitting. You bring these fibers out, then come underneath. And really using the razor blade, you want to be careful here. Straight cut underneath. Just take your time. That looks okay. Just got to watch your legs and everything. And there you go, a nice straight cut. Then, what I like to do is come from the point of the eye using a pair of cover scissors. Just make sure your rubber legs are out of the way. Get your first cut right along the top. And then work your way around. Just be careful with the, your legs as I said. And I'm going to lift the legs out of the way and then using the curve scissors I'm going to come along the side and trim. There's a lot of fiddling around when it comes to deer here. Again, just make sure your legs are out of the way. Just work your way around.